Hello, and thank you for joining us today in our study of the book of Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 61, and this short psalm written by David is going to deal with his relationship with God as a king, and the things that he's looking for when it comes to God's help as a king. And so as you examine this, we don't have a lot of context as to when this particular psalm was written, other than the fact that it appears that it was written after David became the king of Israel. But I want you to notice a couple of things that are interesting from this psalm. Let's begin with its words. In Psalm 61, beginning in verse 1, we read, Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life, his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Here in this psalm, David is going to talk about a couple different things that are going to be very important to him. The first one is the times of trouble and how he deals with those in his relationship with God. He talks about, in verses 2 and 3, From the end of the earth I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That idea of being that higher place, that place of safety, that, that rock that gets away from the storms. Here, David, even as the king, is asking God to get him to a place that he cannot reach himself, a, a place of safety from the physical things and, and from the struggles and the trials that he deals with. You know, there are a lot of things that we'll deal with in our lives, and many of them are things that we can't necessarily take care of. We can't make go away. We can't fix on our own. They're things that we need help in order to be able to secure safety from. And that's what David talks about here. He says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And then he says in verse 3, for you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. In the situations where David has no control over the outcome, there's nothing David can do to be able to fix everything. He goes to the one place that he can turn as a strong tower, as a place of safety, to a higher rock, and that is to the help of God. But then you have the second statement that I want us to notice in this psalm, and it's down at the end of the psalm in verse 7, where there David says, He shall abide before God forever, O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. Here he seeks out God's mercy and truth. His mercy in not giving him what he deserves, that's what mercy is. It, is. it is not giving what would be a just recompense for what has been done. But then there's also truth. The, the ability to know what is right and understanding what the truth of God's will and God's word is. Here, David asks God to prepare mercy and truth that will preserve the king. Yet one of the things I want us to see from this is the fact that it's not just God who has and is asked to utilize mercy and truth. Solomon would talk about in Proverbs that we are not to let mercy or truth forsake us but rather we are to bind them about our necks and write them on the tables of our heart. Just as David seeks out mercy and truth from God, so God expects us to utilize mercy and truth in our lives in the way that we deal with others. 
And so while David can in full trust and good conscience seek God's mercy and truth, there is also the expectation that he will utilize the same. Because Jesus would talk about the fact that if we're not willing to show mercy, we can expect not to receive mercy from God. So therefore, if we're going to receive what we seek from God, we have to be willing to deliver the same to those around us. These are some of the things that I've seen in Psalm 61. I hope they are things that are beneficial to you. Next time we'll come back and we'll begin looking at Psalm 62. I hope you'll join us then. Thank you for watching our video today. Until next time, have a great day.